Okay, welcome back guys. This is the tank that I've been uh, striving for. This is it, the final result. Everything is grown in, dwarf hair grass, nine neon tetras. The AR has grown up. I've been trimming that back. This is uh, October now, since March from the last video. Do the math, that's, that's quite a few months past since this has grown in. I've had some uh, algae issues with the with the grass. I have to uh, take it out with some toothbrush action. Comb out that coat that that uh, it's a brown filamentous algae that I have in the water supply here in Southern California. So I've got a auto sinkless catfish right there in the left corner in the back, and he doesn't seem to be doing too much with that algae. Uh, there's a little bit of green spot algae on the glass uh, that he might take care of, but I've been having to scrub that. So this tank is a, is very um, very intense for maintenance, more uh, that I kind of predicted, but um, it's a lot of upkeep. And honestly, uh, this is this is the reason why I think a lot of high tech tanks might not last forever because people are not going to be able to put a, put the maintenance into something unless it's a their only exclusive tank. Um, this has to be literally cleaned twice a week for, for the algae control. I haven't really found out the balance. I have cranked the CO2 on this tank. Bubbles per second, I'm talking a dozen bubbles per second at least on my bubble counter and it didn't even seem to be um, having the hair grass grow as fast as I wanted it to be. Had the, this fluval like kicking 60% and dosing ferts, half of the ferts that were recommended for, for the nitro, for the macro and the, and the micro. And um, the algae just would not, would just not stay at bay. It would, it would get out of control. I wasn't even overfeeding these fish. The fish were getting thin, like I wasn't feeding them enough. So you had to feed them a little bit more than normal. And so basically, what I came to terms with is, uh, yeah, that's the reason probably why I don't see a lot of these kind of tanks uh, that are lasting for years online. You, you put it, show it set up as a show tank. A friend told me this is kind of like setting up a, uh, a stage or a, um, uh, a production. You're doing the, the lighting and the set design and the costumes, whatever, the, the color choices. This is kind of what this is. This is uh, not made to be forever, like a long lasting low tech tank. This is probably as much as you wanted to deal with uh, for, I don't know, I could maybe deal with this for uh, a year or, or just maybe cut back on something so it wouldn't be so uh, crazy to maintain. But um, yeah, if I had to do this over again, I would definitely not use that eco-complete. Eco I would put in aqua soil uh, or do a fluval or what is the, uh, what's the other stuff? The, the uh, diamond black blasting sand mix or something like that. But uh, that equal complete did not help the um, the nutrition for those for that hair grass. I had to put root tabs in there again, and I had issues with that grass turning brown. So um, that's something to be considered. I do like the look of it right now. I got the lily pipes in there. The ARs looking nice against the background. The background I made a uh, light box with glass and uh, gel set gel for like theater lights and an LED light behind there sandwiched between some um, foam core so i did make that i'm happy about the, how that turns out and i like the way it just offsets the pinks and the reds from the fish and from the plants that was the vision that i had and so yeah that's the update for this tank wanted to show it to everybody who was interested and have a good one.